almost quarter of a century, it's been 25 years that Scotiabank has been the proud title sponsor of the Scotiabank Junior Calypso Monarch competition. Hello, my name is Suzette Armagam Shah, Managing Director, Scotiabank Barbados Limited. The reason for this sponsorship is because really it's our commitment to young people. We know that the young people are a very important part of our community and we really want to provide them with the opportunities to live up to their full potential. So what we assist with with the sponsorship is we have a financial planning um, workshop for all of the participants where we give them the opportunity to learn about budgeting, investing, spending habits, um, and also, you know, when we ran that program as well, what we found is some of the parents were also excited to listen in and be part of it, right? And they even found value as well. So it's not just only about, you know, performing on stage and having their mentors um, help them prepare, but it's also the financial aspects, setting them up, you know, with life skills as well, so they could succeed in the future. You know, the pandemic was really tough on everyone globally, right? But I think, you know, two groups of people it really was really tough on was the elderly and the young people, right? And the young people, their voices were muted, I would say, over those two years. You know, the online schooling, you know, not being able to associate with their friends, you know, and part of that too, it also stunts creativity if you want to say right and you know why we thought it was important to be part of the calypso monarch is getting those people that are passionate about performing singing their art to let their voice be heard again and when i on saturday when i saw the performance i was just like wow unbelievable i was so proud to be part of it again You know, the, the great thing about crop over, it, it brings the community together, all Barbadians, regardless of age, you know, there's the revelry, there's the costume making, there are food, parties, you know, but one thing I wanted to highlight is really the talent. And we see it in the Scotiabank Junior Monarch where we have these young kids so full of talent, right? And we come in as an opportunity to really bring that talent and develop it, right, into something great. But also there's talent everywhere. I mean, you think about the band people, you think about Pan, you think about the costume, the bands to make all those costumes, right? So you think about all the talent that it takes to make crop over a success. This was my first time attending Scotiabank Junior Monarch because I'm new to the island. I just came about a year ago in the pandemic and um, I attended and what really blew me away with respect to the music was the conscious lyrics. We had these young people talking about current 
everyday topics that is so important. You're talking about cyberbullying, um, you know, the state of agriculture, why can't we grow our own food? We're talking about the war zone and gun violence, you know, really important topics that the youths are concerned about. So that really was so impressive to me when I think about it. Under distress, feeling useless, with no qualifications, turn to crime and violence, with no guidance, no. End up in prison, SLS gunshot blazing, followed by sirens swelling. Another youth get gunned down, families lasting mourning, communities complaining. The old time me lots of a son. These are the crimes of the youth today. Cause you know the majority shows you respect and decency. These are the cries of the youth today. Society keeps pulling us down like you forgetting you to us young. So them love and tolerance, they depend on your guidance. Guide them, guide them. Lead them away from sorrow, show them a bright tomorrow. Guide them, guide them. Well, I think how we benefit as a sponsor is that we really give back to the community. We're fostering an environment where young people can really develop and hone their craft and go on to be, you know, very successful later on, as I said, to the bigger stage, or learn the life skills that is required to be successful. We really want to ensure that we give a platform to hear the young voices in the community. Right, so we provide them with all the opportunities to master their craft, right, hear uh, their voice, and as I said, bring out their full potential. Um, and I think we would use an example of Kwan, right, where he started off in Junior Monarch and now he's on to the big stage, a pick of the crop finalist. So, you know, really seeing those young people progress you know, and, and hone their craft gives us the biggest joy as a sponsor. I pay respect to great Romeo. All right. Now people saying, warning me running. People saying, that boy improving. People saying, watch how he moving. But people saying, how he still can't win, but I tell him no, 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 tell him no, 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 tell him no, 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 I come for Calypso, so I sing to promote the power of choice. Yes, I sing to make sure that Kaiso still remains the people's voice. I sing as I live in testimony. Yes, I sing, cause tonight I have the chance to win junior monarchy so this is why i say cause i've got to say these things watch me so i'll sing i'll sing i'll sing cause tonight i could be the king the king i'll sing i'll sing i'll sing cause tonight i could be the king I think the biggest lesson or learning coming out of the pandemic is really that we as human beings are resilient beyond measure. I think the pandemic really tested all of us. I, at least in my generation, we've never been through something like this. But we had to adapt and we had to adapt very quickly. At Scotiabank, it was not just only like, how do we keep our employees safe? But how do we keep our customers safe? How do we keep the community safe while allowing them to still do their banking, right? How do we be there to support the community as well? So I think what it really taught us is resiliency and that we come together in times of difficulty to support each other, to make sure that we go through this together and come out of it 
together. Scotiabank has been in Barbados since 1956, 67 years. And during that time, we've been proud to be a participant in the country. We have been our employer of choice. We've just been recently named one of the great places to work in the Caribbean, so that's fantastic. But we've also contributed over those time to the social impact through our investments, as such as the Scotiabank Junior Calypso Monarch. We've also, you know, participate. Why is crop over so important to us? Because it really brings out the rich culture of Barbados and it's great to participate from that aspect, right? Putting Barbados on the world stage is very important because we know we are a tourism sector, we depend on tourism and with that people come to the island, they want to participate in crop over as well, right? So it hits all aspects from a social and economic point. It hit those points from why crop over is important. Crop over like life. That's what I call it. You know, everybody getting to have together, having a great time, participating in all the events, all the talent that comes together to make it happen. Food, revelry, costumes. It's just a fantastic time where people really get to be their best. Your winner of the Scotiabank Junior Monarch Calypso Competition 2022 with a song entitled It Wasn't Easy, ladies and gentlemen, it is Ahanji! Junior Monarch Soccer Competition. Party nice again. It is Tay. You saw me walking up the two years in party. You jumped me up like everything was just a dream. But no heavy voice could ever hold me. Cause the sun will always come out after the rain. I know this cause we bless, we bless. So please don't be the past judge. You don't know. Continue to rest. We go to Be ready to... 